Welcome back to another episode of 52 Puzzles. Today I'm bringing you another cool puzzle. This one is called Dice Cube Challenge, or the Dice Cube Logs. Uh, what you have here are nine pieces that are all the same shape, but each of the pieces has these dots laser engraved in different locations. Uh, this one has a dot on the end and one there and one there, nothing over here. Uh, this one's two on these ends, nothing there, one on that end, nothing there, and so forth. So the nine pieces all appear to be different. And your challenge here is to build a dice cube from these nine pieces. And the, the puzzle comes assembled in this frame, which you can use as a guide, or you could simply build the dice cube out, out, uh, outside of the frame. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, the challenge here is to build a dice cube. Well, some people don't realize what makes a dice cube special is the opposing sides of a dice cube always add to seven. So looking at the frame here, uh, you see this side is three. Well, this side is going to be four. This side is two. This side will be five, one, and six. So that's what makes a dice cube special. The opposite sides always add to seven. So this is a pretty good challenge and um, a, uh, a pretty good analytical thinking puzzle. Uh, this piece I'm noticing doesn't have any dots engraved on it at all. <laughs> so uh, again, with the nine pieces, we're essentially having to stack three um, like this. So there's your cube, and again, that cube will fit into the frame here. Uh, but certainly we don't have a dice cube going on there. So um, I am going to show you the solution to this puzzle. I would consider this puzzle about a level three challenge out of five for me personally. A uh, good solution time on this puzzle is about 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. Um, I actually solved this in about 20 minutes. So uh, if you don't want to see the solution, then I thank you for watching to this point. Um, and I encourage you to turn the video off now if you don't want to see it. However, if you do want to see the solution, hang in there because here it comes. Okay, so the solution to the dice cube challenge uh, goes like this. Again, I'm going to set this frame aside uh, and just build the, uh, build the cube here. So I've got to get a sense of the different pieces that I'm dealing with here first. Um, I'm looking for, to begin my solution I am looking for a piece like this that has a, um, a dot on one end and right to the left a dot and a dot on top and nowhere else on this stick that's going to be the first piece set these over here for now so that one goes there then the second piece is going to be, um, actually I take that back, that's, uh, disregard that. <laughs> oh, let me see here, hold on. Um, I am going to go, yeah, this is going to be the first piece. So dot on the end, a dot on the bottom, and another dot on the bottom, which is going to be in the back, and then a dot on the outside. That is going to be piece one. The second piece that goes next to that uh, is the piece that does not have any dots on it. So no dots on this piece. That forms the uh, second piece in the base of this cube. 
And then the third piece is going to be also looking like this first one. Um, it is going to be, yeah, dot here, uh, dot on the bottom, dot on the side, dot on the bottom, and dot on the side in the back but nothing on this side or on that side. So this piece goes like this, and there's the base of our dice cube there. The second row gets a little easier. So you've got this piece that has a dot just on this one side. It's gonna go here. And then similarly, we've got another one of those pieces with a dot just on one side. It's gonna go in the back here the dot facing the back and then um, my next piece is going to be this piece here dot on the end dot in the middle and that's it so the middle is going to face out this direction the uh, dot on the end facing me okay and then the last row very simple Going back to this piece that has the dot on the outside, one facing this direction, one facing up, and nowhere else on the piece. That's going to go here. Um, this piece that only has one dot in the middle, no dots anywhere else, goes here. And this very last piece is going to go like this and there we have it we have built our dice cube uh, you see we have a three on this side so if I turn this over there'll be a four on the bottom so I'm going to turn this over and show that to you so there's the four four plus three equals seven if I turn it this direction there's my six so on the other side will be a one. So let me turn that over. There's the one. Six plus one is seven. And then the last one is gonna be the five and two. So there's the side that features the two. And if I turn that completely over, there is, whoops, <laughs> there is the five. So again, you can see how the frame can uh, be useful here. So the dots have to show through the holes that are in the frame. So that two in the back is gonna go like this. Uh, just make sure I got that right. It's gonna go like this. Okay, now it's easier to see. So there's the five and the two. There's the one. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> the one actually goes like this. What am I doing here? Two, yeah, like this. Okay, <laughs> there's the six, other side, there's the one, there's the five, there's the two, there's the four, and there's the three. There you have it, the dice cube challenge. Very cool puzzle. And like I said, this is a, about a level three puzzle. It's a good solution time, 25 to 30 minutes on this one. Good for all ages and um, a nice one for the library. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow the channel 52 puzzles. It's my intention to bring you a new puzzle every week. So until next week, enjoy your puzzles.